All right, broski, we back on with the Kool-Aid man again. You know our favorite YouTuber, Jason Blahoff from the Fitness. Yes, my friends, it's Mr. Olympia weekend and the death cult is in full swing still. Oh my God, the death cult, bro. Let's watch this video and review it. It's Jason Blaha here and I thought I would uh, sit down and chat with you guys about something. Sipping my water. You guys, a forearm shot. You know, and this is this is a topic I guess is relevant. Stuff I used to discuss a decade ago on here. Um, it's time to jump back into that because we've had so many of these bodybuilders die. We're continuing to see it get more and more freakish. You know, the funny thing is they're not reporting all the, I guess, the power lifters that are dying that ended up in wheelchairs or they're paralyzed or in a coma or dying either. It's always like the bodybuilding thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess because that's the most popular of all these sports in that genre. So yeah, he's so jealous of bodybuilding. Watch him disassociate with it. And even though he's bodybuilding, trying to look like a bodybuilder. Uh, you know, we now have this whole generation of, of guys again popping up on social media who, who are not going to be here in five to ten years. Um, and I'm probably going to discuss more of them. The funny thing is he associates uh, real bodybuilding with fake bodybuilding, fake bodybuilding with real bodybuilding. This is, this is the neurotic behavior that he has. <laughs> it's idiotic. Examples I discussed um, Sam Salute the other day. He's not going to be here in 10 years. He's going to be gone, unfortunately. Um, I don't know that he's going to be gone in 10 years. What about you? You may be gone in less than two. You're on TRT and lifting a heavy weight. Give me a break, bro. I mean, he seems like a good kid, so, you know, I think that's most unfortunate. But what's going on with bodybuilding and this the being a death cult? Um, and I've been saying this for over a decade. I don't know what bodybuilding you're talking about. How could it be a death cult? Bodybuilding is not a death cult, bro. I don't see anybody dying at the gym. Are you talking about fake bodybuilding, like fake powerlifting and fake strongman? The artificial stuff that all you people are lifting, artificial weights and things? Yeah, that's... You're all a death cult. What are you talking about? One reason, even though even though I'm actually working on physique now a little bit instead of uh, strength sports, even I'm not going to associate with bodybuilding, you know, because of the, the nature. But you are associating with it because you're bodybuilding in your garage over there. And people would say, well, what do you do about it? It's the IFBB. The judging is clearly to blame. In other words, if you stop giving wins and stop giving pro cards and first place or third place or even fifth place finishes to people who uh, are clearly unhealthy and don't have, even have good physiques anymore because they're freakish, they're not aesthetic in any way, then it'll go away. And it's very simple. Well, if you don't give any drugs anymore to the power lifters, they won't be able to power lift anymore. So uh, the people will, it'll go away too because they'll only see you lift a dinky weight. It won't look freakishly heavy, like a thousand pound lift or 900 or 700. It'll look like 300, 400, maybe the max five. Yeah, they won't be watching anymore. Your bench press will be it nil, if anything, at best, probably two, three hundred. Enforce the rules they started talking about 10, 15 years ago. You saw that there. They're like, we're going to start scoring people down for having an, an insulin gut. It's not a growth hormone gut. It's an insulin. Well, the sport is, a, it's a really about aesthetics, isn't it? If somebody's not following the, the thing, of course they're going to do that. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, we're going to score them down for obvious sight enhancement, but they didn't. Sight enhancement. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some that's that, uh, sight enhancement. Maybe you're talking about using synthol. Yeah, I don't know about any sight. I know people trying to jack steroids in different parts of their body, thinking the steroid is building a muscle in that area. That's stupid. They're just damaging it, causing inf an inflammatory response by injecting it in there. Here's a the problem. When people inject these steroids, there is a they're made from plants and plants have toxins in them and these molecules carry over and so they're toxic just like the pills the pills can be even more toxic than the injectable all right so it's suspended in oil okay they inject it in a, like say they inject it in their arm or their leg or something this oil 
it's causing an inflammatory response in that area. It'll go away or it could cause nerve damage depending on what you're doing there. I don't know. But most likely it's an inflammatory response because they like to create fake phony muscles. Inflammatory muscles inflammatory muscles from lifting chronically or lifting whatever heavy or whatever they're doing there and uh getting some gravitational unloading loading unloading loading and unloading it's which is phony and um sarcoplasmic hypertrophy muscles bro that's what they're building power lifters what are you building a fake strength get it too artificial it's based on androgen receptor strength for the force production and some motor units proliferating that's about it I mean, even in men's physique, it's still there. A uh, perfect example, and I said this years ago. And if it is entertainment, just like your channel. Psh, Christ. It is entertainment, just like your channel. People are taking risks. You're taking a risk in your garage. Maybe one of these days, the weight might fall on your neck, and you'll be recording. Well, who will be there to upload it? You or your, your roommate? Nothing personal against uh, Chris Bumstead. I have nothing personal against the guy. I don't follow bodybuilding that closely. Yes, you do, because you wouldn't, if you don't, didn't follow it closely, you wouldn't have known who Bumstead is, <laughs> obviously. The guy has a lot of oil in there. Like, it's, very, it's a very visible amount of oil when they like his belts. It's quite, it's quite significant. A lot of oil in his delts, okay. And you have a lot of oil in your butt. Where are you injecting it these days? Arm or butt or thigh? <laughs> of course you say that people say i don't see it i'm like well clearly you don't know what you're looking at but they give the guy first place they're giving him uh first place finishes at the the biggest shows for physique he's got all that sight enhancement well, why aren't they in okay they all have sight enhancers whatever bro it's a it's a fakey sport if you don't want to join it don't join it don't take it don't join it just watch it if you want and enjoy it for what it is. Who cares? Forcing the stuff they said they were going to do even for the open bodybuilding. They said years ago they were going to stop giving wins to the people who were, who were freakish and didn't have these classic lines. Yet they're giving them Mr. Olympia titles. There and lay the issue. Because the insulin is a big part of it. What are you talking about? It's a competition, even if it is phony, <laughs> based on whatever they're doing there. They have a right to do whatever they want there. It's their business. If you don't want to, don't join it. Um, stop allowing them to be freaks. Start putting them last place. Stop putting them... Stop putting them fifth. I know that you've been watching it this year. They've actually they've actually punished people for having bubble guts, so they're actually coming in a lot better looking. Yeah. All at last. The freakish big thing is the is the glycogen in the muscle, the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. That is that is the problem with it. Over consuming glycogen to load in the muscle to cause that big bloated look, you know. Well, good physique set. It's that simple. It will stop being a death cult when that happens. When everything from insulin to side enhancement is no longer rewarded. Yeah. Okay, when you stop allowing guys to be so freakishly big that they're mutants, they look like mutants. Not yeah, they're pumping glycogen in there and your muscles can blow up quite a bit, but it can only go so far. It doesn't go any more than what you see there on stage. That's about it. But we think of as bodybuilders. You go back to the 60s, maybe the 70s to some extent. Those, those guys still look good. Go to that golden era. Start putting physique. Because everybody's trying to compete. Because if one's going to get bigger, then they think, well, they're going to reward them for being big. And so the other one wants to catch up with them. That's the problem with that. So everybody wants to do this unhealthy sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Yeah. Just like that into first. It will actually make bodybuilding more attractive to the mainstream. It will make it look more obtainable. You know, we 888, made to play, not to skip. 888, made to play. More obtainable, attractive. Attra because you have all these people who are... Did you say more obtainable, more attractive to people? What do you mean obtainable? Why don't powerlifters stop taking steroids so it could look more obtainable to the, the masses and the public out there? more attractive and more obtainable. Yeah, 
instead of, instead of you lifting seven, eight hundred pounds off the ground, get it, man, taking a drug. Like, well, you know, that's about looking good, but bodybuilding is no longer about looking good. It's no longer about the art. It's not any of that anymore. Man, it's not about the strength anymore in powerlifting. It's just not about that anymore. It's just about the drugs. That's it. It's a drug sport, so it's cheap. Maybe they should cancel it. They should totally stop promoting powerlifting, destroying people's bodies and, you know, them dropping off in their 20s. It has become a freak show to the point where they keep creating new classes. To Have you seen these people busting their knees and everything falling down? I did so many videos on it before my other channel, before you took it down. Yeah, man, it, they had all these things on there. They get less freakish and then they start rewarding freakishness. When men's physique guys are more freakish than the open bodybuilding Mr. Olympia was in the 70s, What are they doing? Because they can't even... What are they doing, man? What are they doing? Say, well, we've got these classic classes. Or whatever. Well, no, because even your men's physique guys. If they're more freakish than Arnold or Serge Nubray, in a men's physique, you've got a problem. you got a problem. Size them down, make the waistlines come down. Um, Get rid of it. Yeah, how are you going to do that? Jason is really in tune with bodybuilding. He just loves men's bodies. He's been watching these people. Come on, Jason, you don't fool us. We know you like, uh, you know, about that gay poor pay. Anything that doesn't have those, those classic lines, make it go away. They'll stop dying. Because all those guys are still alive. I mean, realistically, I mean, yeah, sure, Arnold has had genetic heart-related issues and other stuff, but he's still alive. No, he hasn't. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, he's had this problem for a long time. They say it's genetic. I don't know, but it's genetic. Passed on. Alive. Alive because he has money. Let's be clear there. A lot of those guys are alive right now. They're outliving the general population. They were all using pretty significant amounts of stuff. But it's they also eat a lot healthier, not a, not as much of a slave diet as you. They eat the best food. They're not eating at McDonald's, bro. Get it? And drinking cokes all day. Yeah, that's another thing too. Nothing compared to what guys are doing today. They weren't using the same things or in the same amounts. Different world. It didn't destroy their health. Different strokes for different folks, right? Today they are. Then you have the whole, the whole party scene with it too. Okay, and that's what people are missing. They're like, well, they're dying because they're using some, some steroids. If that was the case, if just using it, high doses of steroids was the culprit, Arnold and those guys would not be able. It's because... It enhances your performance to lift a heavy weight. Lifting the heavy weight is destroying them. <laughs> That's what's destroying these bodybuilders, lifting a heavy weight. Stop lifting a heavy weight, bro. Five. Yes, they heavy weights don't build muscles. Car. You got Arnold, Lou Ferrigno, all those guys still out there. They're still here. All right? That was over 40 years ago, closing in on 50 years ago, those guys were in their heyday. They're still here. Not everybody's here, some are dead. That's not the problem. It's the, and they used a lot of stuff. We need to- They didn't use that much stuff, man. Off season, they were working, they had jobs. They only ever competed in Mr. Olympia. Arnold only competed in Mr. Olympia. He did Mr. Universe, but after Mr. Universe, he competed only exclusively in, 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 in the Olympia, bro. He was working most of the year. And when it came time, he went on steroids for like, what was it he said? Eight weeks before he went to compete. That's all. He did eight weeks. He practically, when he walked around, he looked small when he walked around. He was working in construction with, uh, what's his name? The Italian guy. They worked together. 
So I don't know what you're talking about. This is ridiculous. They're doing it as a full-time job, a competition as a full-time job. He used a competition as a catalyst so he could become famous and go in movies and whatever, this and that, and a bunch of other things, and open a bunch of gyms. He wanted to make a bunch of money and open a bunch of gyms. You understand me? It's not, it's, he wasn't doing it as, a, it, it as a job. People are doing this at, like it's a job and stuff. Selling like Mr. Olympia, I got to go compete in all these competitions. There isn't any money there. How could you live off $5,000 reward money offered by these, these competitions? You've got, this is ridiculous. They make their money from their popularity and going there now, like social media and a whole bunch of other things. That's why it's on the rise, get it? Influencers are so popular. They're making money off this crap. Be clear there, they weren't using really low amounts. They were losing low amounts and for short periods of time. They weren't using it all the time. You're stupid to think that. That's where the term cycle, cycling on and cycling off came from. The problem with people today, they're cycling on, cycling off, cycling on, cycling off. But by the time they start to shrink, they cycle back on again. <laughs> That's when that oil starts wearing out slowly. They're still here. Yeah, they're, they're here. It would be more popular. I don't know why they don't do that. I don't know why they keep rewarding the freakishness. And rewarding... Because you love it and you are entertained by it. That's why you keep talking about it. Because you love bodybuilding, Jason. <laughs> Don't lie to us, bro. Guys who use 10 grams a gear plus or 10 times the insulin. That You've been using all that. You're still alive. You've been using all kinds of steroids in the past. How come you're still alive walking around? Think about it. I mean, you've got one foot in the grave, though. By looking at you, you look like you're 75 years old. It's definitely accelerated aging in you for sure. Your grandmother uses with big distended guts the shoulders and arms with inches and inches of oil and scar tissue and fake muscle did he just say fake muscle he admitted it stop rewarding it put it in last place yes jason stop rewarding it tell them to stop it <laughs> tell them demand that they stop it <laughs> i'll see you in the next one man this is funny <laughs> cult olympia weekend cult all right see you later man